A local hospital has a nursing staff of 225 nurses working four shifts. The number of nurses apportioned to each shift is based on the average number of patients treated in that shift. Use the Hamilton method to determine how many nurses are assigned to each shift. So the first thing we need to do is figure out how many patients there are all together. So we're going to add up all of the number of patients from each shift. So 871 plus 1029 plus 610 plus 190 gives us a total of 2,700 patients. So what we're going to do is figure out what is the percentage of each shift in terms of patients. So we're going to divide each of these by 2,700. Okay, so for shift A, we're going to have 871 divided by 2,700. So when we divide that out, shift A takes up about 32%, so 0.32, I'll say 0.323. Actually, let's go a little bit further, 0.3226. Okay, 1,029 over 27 for shift B. Is about 0.3811, so about 38%. For C, we have 610 divided by 2,700. So dividing that out, I get about 0.2259. And then for shift D, 190, so this one has the lowest amount, divided by 2,700 is about 0 0.0704. So by dividing all of this out, what we've done is figured out what is the percent of patients that are seen in each shift. So to figure out the number of nurses that are needed, we're going to take each of these and multiply it by the total number of nurses we have, which is 225. So we're going to multiply all of these by 225 because what we're trying to figure out is how many nurses we need. So if shift A has about 32% of the patients, then we need 32% of the nurses. So we're going to go through and multiply all of these by 225. To avoid any rounding errors, I think it might be a good idea to start from the 871 divided by 2700 and just multiply that by 225. So 871 divided by 2700 times 225 is about 72.583. 1029 divided by 2700 times 225 is 85.75. 610 divided by 2700 times 225 is about 50.833. And 190 divided by 2700 times 225 is about 15.833. So in using the Hamilton method, the first thing we're going to do is give each ship the lower quota. So that's going to just be rounding down. So the lower quota for A would be 72, for B would be 85, C would be 50, D would be 15. So giving each one the lower quota, when I add all of this together, see how many nurses are left. So 72 plus 85 plus 50 plus 15 gives us 222 nurses. We need 225, so that means there's three nurses left over. So the Hamilton method tells you to assign the nurses one by one to each shift that has the higher fractional part. So looking at just the fractional part of each one, the highest one, there's a tie, but we have three nurses to give out anyway, so both of C and D are going to go up by one. So there's two of them, I need to assign one more. So of the 5.583 and the 0.75, if you want, you can think of 0.75 as 0.750, if that helps you. So 750 is more than 583, so shift B is going to go up. So all together, using the Hamilton method, shift A, is going to have 72, shift B is going to have 86, shift C will have 51, 
and D will have 16. So if we add all of this together, now we're going to get the 225.